Hi, in this screencast, I want to record my screen as I go through the process of installing SSL certificate on my DigitalOcean account that is managed by Server Pilot, a free account on Server Pilot. Um, as you probably know, um, we cannot have, or at least there is no built in way to add a SSL certificate when you are having a free account at server pilot and i believe you need to pay ten dollars if you want the convenience of a one-click setup but if you don't want to pay and you just want to install ssl certificates on domains or subdomains on your server pilot account this is the way to go all right so If you go to this GitHub page, you can see that um, there is a bash script, a shell script that you need to run on the server. And it will, this will take care of guiding you through the process. So let's uh, take a look at the first step. We need to SSH to your server. So I'm going to do that as a root user. All right, so the first thing is to, well, log into the SSH. So I'm gonna do that. So SSH root user at the IP of your server. It's gonna be asked for the password. That I could copy and paste and enter. All right, so I'm logged in as root. Next thing is to go to this directory. So now if I do a ls to see the list of all files here, you can see that I already have the shell script. So I don't really need to do this, but I'll just go ahead and delete that and I think it is rm yeah that's gone okay so just go ahead and copy that line of code <clears throat> so you can see the message that the script has been saved and you can see that here if, I, if you do a ls Next thing is to make it executable. So just do that. Invalid mode X. Hmm. Let me check this. Ah, I think I don't need sudo because I'm already logged in as a root. So let's try without that. Nope. Hmm. Let's see. Here it says a plus x, but as in the official instructions, it says sudo chmod plus x. Let's try a plus x and see what happens. Okay, that worked. So I'll just proceed further. Okay, follow the on screen on screen instructions. All right. Okay, so we got to run that. Okay, so just do sple.sh. Okay, that stands for server pilot let's encrypt by the way. Okay, so it says please enter your app name. So the app that I want to make or install an SSL certificate is the Genesis dash hooks. Now, if we go take a look at the 
site URL, you can see that um, it's just HTTP, there is no HTTPS. You can see it's not secure. Okay, so what is it asking? It's asking for the app name. So that would be this particular thing. That's your app name. Okay, please enter the system username for the app. That you can get by going to settings. You can see the system user is server pilot. Okay, please enter all the domain names and subdomain names you would like to use separated by space. Now, if we go to domains, you can see these domains here. So I'm going to put them separated by a space like so. I think we need to put the primary domain at the beginning, the first one. So I put www at the last, hit enter. Okay, it says to enable auto renewal, add the following to your cron tab. Okay, copy that. Okay, I think that's done. So, what we need to do next is uh, we need to, well, if the, if the site is a WordPress website, you need to edit .ht access file and add a couple of lines to direct all the HTTP traffic to HTTPS. So, I think that's here. Yeah. Okay, so for that I need to log in to my server i'm going to use an ftp client for that okay so the apps will be inside apps and what is it that i'm doing okay genesis works go in there Go inside public and here you should see this dot HD access. You go to edit that. Let's do that in here. Okay, it says place these files at the beginning, place these lines at the beginning of the file. So I'm going to copy them, place them there, save it, close it. And that's done. All right, so that's done. So now, if I go to this domain, you can see it says secure, and I've got the HTTPS here. Okay, so one last step that we need to do is to is to add this line to cron tab uh, one second cron tab right so to edit the cron we need to do cron tab dash e so let's do that cron tab dash e okay so you are here you can use the down arrow key to Come down. So here, well, you see some lines, but you sh should be not having these two, the last two. So you could just copy this and paste. And once you're done, you hit this Control X. It'll ask you whether you want to save, say yes and that should be done but in my case 
I've used this command because this is what I believe I saw on the GitHub page. Okay, we'll start. Yeah, here. So my server happens to be Ubuntu 16.04. So I've copied that line and I've pasted there. All right, so you need to know how we can check the version of the server. Uh, yeah, so if you run this command, you can see the version of your server. So let me just get out of this by pressing Control X. Okay, I'm going to paste that. So here you can see that my server is 16.04. So that's why I've copied this line and I've put this inside the cron file. Okay, so what this does is that it automatically checks um, every three months, I believe. And then it'll automatically renew your SSL certificate. So it's completely hands-on or hands-off. There's nothing that we need to do once this is set up. Okay, bye.